All right, guys, on this episode of Doc's Eye TV, we're going to go to a more traditional technique. Something you've seen us do many a times is Charlie's showing you one of our classic colors. That's a shrimp creole that we use in this episode right here. We're going to put it on, a, on our heaviest golden eye jig head, which is our half ounce. And we're going to target redfish on the pollens of Highway 11. These items are going to be in the subscription box for this month. We're also going to put the shrimp cocktail in there also, as it's the exact same color combination as the Creole, just with a chartreuse tail. So I hope you enjoy this episode of Doc's Eye TV, and Charlie Ray is going to tell you something right here. Don't forget to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right now what we're doing is fishing uh, both redfish and drum as our target species on this Highway 11 bridge. We also have been doing this on the uh, twin span also. I'm going to show you how to target redfish and drum while fishing the actual Highway 11 in the summer. Beautiful red right here. put this one in the well. Got him on a shrimp creole on a half ounce jig head and I'm gonna go over why I'm using a half ounce right now. We switch it up to that matrix 17 pound test when we're doing this. Another nice red. That's why, that's why I can flip. This one isn't too hard to flip, but that first one, you better have 17 pound test or some kind of braid gonna flip a fish of that caliber. That one I flipped earlier was at least six pounds, if not seven and a half. And this is a solid, about a four and a half pounder. Pretty fish. Let me put him in the well and I'm gonna go over just the technique on how you wanna do this. Go ahead and dry off my hands with our matrix towel here. So a blue one, you got a blue and a black one. So I'm using a half ounce because the tide's falling at a pretty good clip. These fish are dead on these pilings, so I want it to get straight down so I can work it right on the pole. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna bend and cast it under the bridge. You want it no further than three feet away from the, the pilings. The half ounce is going to get it down a little faster, and then I'm just going to dribble it right down those poles. Dribble it right down them poles. And on this particular cast, I cast it on the south side of the poles. And you 
want to pattern these fish, whether they're on the south side or the north side. Those last two I caught were on the south side, so I'll probably target that more. But here's a cast down the north side of the pole. I want to throw all the way through the bridge and work it down each individual pile. You see how I got my rod tip angled this way? That's because I'm trying to keep it as close to those pilots as I possibly can. And, you know, there's a lot of good baits that work for this, but obviously drum and redfish love live shrimp. The problem is you can't, it's very hard to pinpoint casts with a live shrimp when you're doing this. It's why lure fishing is very effective when this is the case. Now, it's the middle of the summer right now. That's why we're targeting uh, drum and redfish. But as, we, as the water temperature's cool and we get into more of a November, December, this exact technique's gonna work for big speckle trout. All right, so this is something very simple. We don't go over enough. How do you thread a matrix shad? right through the center of the head, and the hook comes out the flat part. Tail down, hook comes out the flat part, about an inch and a half in. Now this is the knot we always tie. Just fold your line over, put it through. One single knot like so. Take your access loop, put it back through there. One of the fastest knots to tie. We ready to go back to fishing. You, this sheep thumped it. It was on its way down, going down the poles, and I felt my whole line jump. That's awesome. That's the first sheep head I've caught on a matrix shed in quite some time. Let me give you a look at this guy. First sheep in quite some time on a plastic matrix shed. This is one of my favorite eating fish. And one of the most interesting fish to me is they are so hard to catch on plastic. But you got sheephead drum and reds all laid up on these poles together. All right, so since I'm burying this lure up in the bridge pilings, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank the drag pretty tight where it's got very little give back. And once I hit that red fish and get him free from the poles, then I can loosen up the drag let him swim a little bit more free. But I'm trying to horse him clean out of those pilots before he gets me up in there. This has been a really good redfish bite this morning. Good friend of mine, Josh Hall, was out here just yesterday and he caught a pile of drum and a couple flounders. He was looking for reds as he had been catching reds here. We come one day after, haven't caught a drum yet, and it's pure redfish. She choked it in there. And again, I can't explain the importance of a half ounce when that tide's really peeling. That's why I'm using that big half ounce black platinum. That way you can really get that lure to the bottom quick and keep it right tight to the poles. All right, I can feel this fish digging a little bit more 
This has got to be a drum here. The reds shake their head. The drum kind of dig. Both put up a great fight. Look at that. Yep, nice little drum. And this is the perfect size. You know, those drum have a bad reputation a little bit. And for no reason why. I actually cooked some of these last night. These taste just as good as redfish, if not better. And they really gang up. Great fish when you got a pile of them out here. Great fish to teach kids how to fish on. They're not quite as strong as reds. A little bit easier to reel in. They will hit plastics, obviously. And there's just a plethora of fish out here right now. You know, we done caught several reds, sheephead, now a drum. Some days you come out here, it's all drum. Some days it's all reds. If you have live shrimp, it could be all sheepheads. But this is a fantastic table fare and one of the most underrated fish in Louisiana. Guys, if we can land this one, this is gonna make the daily limit. Might head on over, call it a quick day, head on back to the office, get some sh uh, work done at the matrix shed.com office. And I hope this really showed you just how solid the fishing can be on these bridges in the middle of the summer. All you need is a little salt, a little clean water, which we have now after fighting an entire month of west winds in July. Now we're getting a little easterly flow, some salty conditions, and then boom, the redfish showed up on here. right here that makes a limit i hope you enjoyed this episode of dockside tv fishing nice size redfish with a half ounce black platinum and we were using the shrimp creole today obviously this lake's probably full of shrimp right now i'm sure that's one of the primary sources went with old trusty creole it really did the job done. That's one drift on Highway 11. We just shot this episode, hooked several reds, caught a limit, and even caught a surprise flounder. I mean, a uh, sheephead. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box, which make sure to send out some half ounce jig heads, some shrimp creole in that. And I hope you enjoyed this episode and learned something. Until next time, good fishing.